Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defence Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defence sector. In today's discussion we are going to talk about Indian Air Force readiness for the deployment of S400 defence system followed by Indo-Russian S400D. We'll also briefly touch upon the S400 features and its specification and at the end we'll talk about how it's going to be deployed across the Indian region. Undeterred by the threat of US sanction, India is going ahead in full swing with its induction plan for the advanced S400 Triumph system. An initial team of almost 100 officers and airmen are being trained in Russia to operate the S400 system. Besides, the groundwork also related to its deployment has started. The S400 Triumph or S21 Growler is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed in 1990s by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau as an upgrade of S300 family. In 2017, the S400 was described by the economist as one of the best air defense systems currently made. It is capable of detecting targets at a speed of Mach 14. Its detection range is around 600 km. It can engage 60 targets simultaneously. The system's response time is just 9 to 10 seconds. It can target a wide range of aerial threats from fighter jets, strategic bombers, and AWACS. Russian claims that S400 system can even intercept ballistic missiles with a velocity of 4,800 meters per second, which is close to Mach 14. The radar is also capable of locking and shooting down the fifth generation stealth fighters like American F 35 Lightning Twin jets. A one unit of S400 system comprises of eight battalions, and each battalion of S400 system has eight launchers. Each of these launchers have four missile tubes. India and Russia has inked dollar 5.43 billion contract in October 2018 for the delivery of five units of S400 air defense system. Each battalion of S400 system has eight launchers, and each launcher has four tubes. India has ordered for two different types of missiles with a range of 400 km and 250 km instead of 4. India will be using Akash and MR SAM air defense system for the aerial threats within the range of 25 to 90 km. The S400 Triumph coupled with Akash and MR SAM will act as a two-layer defense system. The S400 system automatically picks up the most suited missile to launch at an incoming aerial threat. Its radar with primary acquisition 1 with a range of 600 km can track hundreds of targets simultaneously. All the 5 mobile squadron of S400 defense system will be progressively delivered by April 2023. The highly automated S400 will be suitably positioned in the western, northern and eastern border to cater the threats from both China and Pakistan. The first defense regiment of S-400 will start arriving from November onwards and will come into active service by end of 2021 or early 2022. The deployment of S-400 is expected around the national capital Delhi. The second regiment of S-400 will include a long range radar, a command post vehicle, target acquisition radar and two battalions of launchers. The second regiment will be delivered by mid of 2022 and remaining three by 2023. The second regiment will be deployed in the eastern sector of Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force has also planned to deploy at least three regiments in the western sector that will cover whole of the western sector against Pakistan and one regiment in northeast and one in the eastern sector against China. Recently, US has imposed sanction on Turkey under the Countering Americans Adversary Through Sanction Act or CARTSA for the purchase of S-400 missile defense from Russia. India, however, remains very hopeful to get a national security waiver from the Biden administration of US law CARTSA, which has enacted in 2017 to prevent countries from buying Russian weapons or Iranian oil. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.